I suppose you could call it justice with a twist. Judges all over the US handing out some very unusual sentences for convicted criminals. In Colorado, one judge is giving noise ordinance violators an option, jail time, or listen to blaring music for an hour. And the playlist? Songs by Barry Manilow. In Delaware, a 69-year-old man who was convicted of exposing himself to a 10-year-old girl got 60 days in jail and was ordered to wear a T-shirt reading, I am a registered sex offender for 22 months straight. In Texas, a woman convicted of starving two horses got 30 days in jail, but for the first three days, all she could eat was bread and water. And in Ohio, two kids who defaced a nativity scene are ordered to march through town with a donkey holding this sign. The judge in that case, one of the most extreme judges in America, Michael Ciccinetti. So we headed to Painesville, Ohio, to find out what he's got up his sleeve next. Our Reed Grinsell has the story. Be seated, please. Criminals, beware. I was really going to put you in jail for 30 days. In this judge's courtroom, it's mace to the face because he's a man of the bench. I'm going to be able to tell if you're lying to me or not. Why don't you have respect for the lawyer? Who doles out his own brand of justice. You like playing garbage, I'm going to let you do that. Sometimes it's embarrassing and sometimes it's humorous. And people have said to me, well, isn't that cruel and unusual punishment? I said, well, unusual, I'll give you. Painesville, Ohio sounds like the perfect place for this guy who just loves dishing it out. Judge Michael Ciccinetti is famous for handing down jaw-dropping punishments that most would say fit the crime. These three teens who bang the drum in the hot sun for a community event as punishment for banging on neighbors' doors and vandalizing homes. This rebel with a gavel has been holding his court of unusual sentences since 1994, but this judge prefers to call it creative justice. Whatever the creative sentence is, it has to, fit the, it has to be relevant to the offense so the person won't do it again. Just listen in as this tough but fair judge creates a uniquely dirty sentence for a first-time thief who stole some cash, then dumped the purse in the trash. I'm gonna give you an option not to do the 30 days. I mean, you like playing garbage, I'm gonna let you do that. You go through all the garbage cans and take out all the uh, aluminum cans that you can find, pack them up, get them recycled, and whatever the value of those cans are, you donate to the uh, the, the homeless shelter over here. Some of them are probably a little embarrassed, but I've had others that have come back and said, you know, thank you. You know, that, that was really a good one. You know, I learned my lesson. Judge Ciccinetti has gained national attention for his shocking punishments. One of his most famous, he gave a man who called a police officer a pig a lesson in proper etiquette with the help of a real life porker. So we borrow this pig, we put a cage up, he has to stand by the sign and says, this is not a police officer in front of the pig. Then Ciccinetti really stirred up controversy when he allowed the victim of a pepper spray attack to get some good old fashioned eye for an eye payback. If you don't want to do 30 days in jail, which you'd be going right now, I'll allow Mr. Rolls to have his, uh, his vengeance. And that is to give you a shot of pepper spray. She got off easy. The judge made sure the spray was only filled with water. I've never ordered an alternative sentence. It's always been the defendant's choice to do so. They don't have to. Cat lovers all over the world still praise Ciccinetti's unusual sentence to a woman who abandoned 35 kittens in a cold, snowy forest. It, which really angered me. So I, you know, I, I told her, that if you're gonna let these kittens out in the woods, let's do the same to you. I want you to go out in the woods and spend the night alone, see how you like it. And I had park rangers, she didn't know they were out there to watch her, make sure she was safe. And in June 2015, one woman found out the penalty for trying to pull a fast one. She stiffed a cab driver of cab fare, a distance of about 30 miles. And the cab driver's out uh, approximately $100 for that. So uh, I ordered that she still has to pay the cab driver for the $100. But I said, you know, if you didn't have the cab fare, how are you gonna get home? She goes, walk. I go, well, guess what? That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna walk the 30 miles. 
So I had her walk the 30 miles around a circle at the, at the Lake County Fairgrounds in lieu of going to jail for 30 days. His honor decided to lead the charge for alternative sentencing after he realized criminals were coming back to him over and over again. So there's got to be a better way, just has to be a better way to do things. So I, I tried to be a little more creative and then I found out, whoa, they're, they're working. Judge C admits his sentences are usually straight from the hip. It's usually they come in, they enter a plea, I come up with a sentence. And Judge Chickenetti sees imitation as the sincerest form of flattery. People say, oh, this other judge copied you. I said, wonderful. You know, I jumped off the cliff and I made it over. So, you know, come on, join me. It's okay. Uh, try it. It'll work. Now, Judge Chickenetti says only 1% of his cases get this special treatment. His criteria, suspects need to be first-time offenders, generally young and impressionable, and always remorseful for what they did. Now, though, we want to hear from you on this story. In today's Crime Watcher poll question of the day, we ask, do you agree with the types of sentences being handed out by Judge Chickenetti, or do you think he should just be giving out jail time? Tell us what you think. The number, 1-800-300-2810.